What's up everyone? In this video, we're gonna learn how to install ourselves an SSL cert on our local host. This will grant us access to HTTPS colon slash slash local host. And it will resolve locally. Now we have HTTPS running locally so we can implement things that require HTTPS on our local box. As you see here, I am running WAMP locally. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do this on a local WAMP server. If you guys are running a different setup locally, leave a comment down below and I'll see what I can do to help you out. First thing we need to do is install OpenSSL. So we're gonna download that from HTTPS slash slash SL, SL webpro.com. Uh, maybe I meant pro web. There we go. You're gonna wanna head over to the products and then find the OpenSSL right here. Scroll down until you find the correct version that you need. In my case, I'm just gonna download the installer straight up, 63 megabytes, exe file, Win64. We're gonna save that. Once it's done, we're gonna open it up. When installing this, we want to accept the agreement and do all of the default options. Wait for a little while. Hit finish. There we go. OpenSSL has been installed on Windows. We can close this window out. Now we need to create our key and our cert. I'm going to open up a new file explorer. I'm going to head over to C, Program Files, um, OpenSSL, Win64. This is where we just installed our new OpenSSL to. And in the bin folder here, you'll see we have our OpenSSL executable right here. This is what we're going to use in the command line to create a cert and a private key. I'm going to click the start menu and type CMD. There's the command prompt. We're going to right click and do run as administrator. Click yes to that. And now we have our Windows command prompt opened up. So we want to CD into this folder here where our um, executable is. I'm going to copy this right here. I'm going to go CD and paste it. Now I'm in our OpenSSL folder. If I do an LS here, you can see the OpenSSL.exe file, which we're going to run. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create ourselves a private key. So we do OpenSSL gen RSA 256 out into the private.key file. Then it's going to ask us to enter a passphrase. I'm going to do test123, very secure. Choose something more secure if you're uh, being serious. Then it's going to ask us to verify it, test123. We're going to hit enter, and our private key has been created. Over here in our folder, here is our private key. Now we need to remember that passphrase for our next step because we're going to do another open SSL RSA on our private key. When we run this command, it's going to ask us for the passphrase we use on our private key. In my case, test123, hit enter, and our RSA key has been written. Now we have our private key. Next, we need to create our certificate. Open SSL, require, this is a new one. using our private key we created to create this cert. We're gonna say write this out to certificate 
dot CRT and then specify the days we want this cert to last. Now we're going to come into a bunch of steps we have to enter some information for. None of the steps really matter. Um, I'm going to fill them in just because I like doing that, but otherwise you can just press enter to skip them. hit enter to skip those two. The organization name, the organizational unit. The common name, however, you need to specify localhost. You must specify localhost for this if you're trying to install this cert on your localhost. If you press enter on every single thing, if you use enter on all the other ones with an empty value, that's fine, but you need to specify localhost for the common name. And I'm gonna put in my email address. and our cert has been created. If we look over here, we see our certificate now and we see our private key. We have the two things we need. Now we need to place those two things inside of our WAMP setup. I'm gonna hit WAMP, bin, Apache, the Apache version you're running. And then we're going to look for the conf folder. Here is the conf folder. We're going to open this folder and inside it we're going to create a new folder and we're going to call it key. Here's our key folder. We're going to open that and here's where we're going to place our certificate we created and our private key. I'm going to drag those two things into my key folder. Continue, continue. Now our certificate and our private key have been successfully moved to our WAMP server. Now we need to go up one level and edit our httpd.conf file. I'm going to open that file. Then I'm going to go into the extra folder and open up my httpd-ssl conf file. These are the two files we need to edit. First file is the httpd.conf file. In here, we're going to look for the mod ssl. We need to uncomment that, and then we need to uncomment the httpd-ssl.conf line. Last line we need to search for is the mod so cache right here. We're also going to uncomment this line. Three lines uncommented, done. Then we can move on to our httpd-ssl file. We're going to search for document root. And we need to make sure that this is pointing to the root of our web server. In my case, C WAMP64 www. Then we need to make sure that the server name is exactly how we call it when we're in the web browser. In my case, it's localhost. You might have something like localhost um, 3000, for example. You put that right here. It has to be the exact same. However you access it in your web browser, you put that in for the server name. Next, we're gonna scroll down and find where the keys are defined. So here we have our cert, server cert. We're gonna uncomment this. We're gonna specify our path to the certificate we just created, which is conf slash key slash certificate dot cert and that is a cert that we had just created then we scroll down a little farther and we see the server key this is where we specify the private key to use so we're going to come at this line again we created a key folder so we're going to do key slash private save both those files and restart all your services on WAMP. Hop over to web browser and hit https slash colon slash slash localhost. Enter. And you will see that we're going to get a potential security risk ahead warning. This will always happen if you're running on localhost. All you have to do is click advanced down here 
and click Accept Risk and Continue. Boom, you're in. HTTPS on localhost now works. You've accepted that risk, so if you go into a new tab, for example, you're in. And that is how you install an SSL cert on your localhost so HTTPS on localhost resolves. And that is going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see coded up next. I'll catch you later.